had your second time in the car, your second test day, and we spoke in the previous video about the, the pressures for your first time in the car. And realistically, there's probably more pressure for your second time in the car. If you go out and do all right first time, obviously you're expected to do even better for the second time. So we've, we've made some improvements, but how'd you go, how'd it feel? Second test day, that was, that was a large improvement overall. Um, it was a bit hotter the second day, so learning how to drive the conditions was something Roman um, taught me a lot about. It was a, quite a warm day, so obviously things aren't going to work the same as, say, a cooler day or a, a rainy day, for example. So, yeah, a lot of that was vast improvement in my driving. Tidied up all the sort of the leaning on the throttle and that sort of thing mid corner, tidied that up and um, focused on getting my markers right. For example, going one, two in Sydney improved, uh, not Sydney, in um, QR, sorry, um, improved quite a lot through there and um, found quite a little time because obviously the aero um, was, is quite something I had to get used to and um, obviously through high, high speed corners, like we've said previously, the faster you go, the more downforce you get, but um, yeah, other than that, we managed to go quite quicker in the second test day in conditions that probably weren't in our favour. And, um, and we had traffic throughout the day. So other than that, it was a, we had, I feel we had made some gains throughout the day. Um, learned how to get my shifting down pat, brake pressure down pat, and um, yeah, looking forward to the, the next time in the car, see what we can do. And a, a lot of it is is about the processes, you know, but to go faster on a hotter day is quite an achievement really, but just the processes and just working on the details and small improvements, we, we don't want you to go out there and you know, improve the whole lap because you can go out there and improve a corner by a corner or an entry at a time and then a mid corner. So it's good, always good to see we're heading in the right direction, we're making improvements, and you pulled up a lot better physically this time around after the training. Yeah, it was um, definitely, there was, I had less of side effects, I guess you could call it, after the, the second day. We went back after the first day. We worked, worked towards improving our fitness, and I think it, it did pay off. And since then, we're, we're going to continue to work on it. Um, but yeah, second day um, definitely pulled up less less bad or less worse where you could say. Um, yeah, training obviously de definitely helps in these cars. If you if you don't train, you you get a struggle. So um, yeah, definitely definitely helped. All right, we're we're about a week away now from your um, from your first round in Sydney. The uh, the car prep's coming along along nicely. We as far as the car prep goes, we change absolutely everything track to track. So that's well and truly underway. You you've been training hard. We're starting to uh, delay the training back and get you ready for the racing. Yeah. Where's your mind at? How are you feeling? Looking looking good for round one. Um, I'm feeling like we can come away with a strong result just quietly. But um, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, your first round is. A, Competition's looking pretty tough. There's some, there's some teams with multiple cars. We're a single car team, as many people know, but um, like you said, the data you guys have got, definitely get a help. Um, Sydney, it's a track I know well. Race, race quite a few times there, and um, yeah, looking forward to driving Formula 3 there. It's quite a, quite a high speed track, and um, see how we go. And most importantly, we've, we've got your stickers on. The, uh, the sign's been car written, the, the car's been sign written, so it's, it's official, your name's on the side of the car. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Obviously, um, thanks to all the sponsors that are on the car. Microshield Australia, Main Glass, um, Door and Window Repairs, GFX Traders, and of course, KSK Lubricant for their support in this year's Formula 3 Championship. And um, yeah, hopefully we can come away with a good result. Well. Stay tuned guys, subscribe and uh, we'll keep you posted with the videos as they come and see you after round one.